Tunnel Bridge checkpoint passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes' time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time. Nothing to report. Seal the stern hatch. All right. The lift is also under our control. We are on the foredeck, about to descend to the holds. Sir, the Marine Commander has started his speech already. We will complete the preparations before the end of the speech. All communications to the holds have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Let no one down into the holds until we are out. Yes, sir. We will secure your exit with our lives if necessary. Yes, sir. My daughter, keep her safe. Yes, sir. Who goes there?
goes there. Oh, Shalashaska. Why are you here? We thought you were with the Colonel. What the? Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses. The men down here are definitely Marines. If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent arrivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. Okay, Snake, let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left, and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. All right. There's actually one little thing. Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements? I hitched a ride on Link 16 into U.S. military's proprietary network. Managed to get into that workstation and overwrote a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look, all you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. The app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera, split the files, and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then masquerade as... Okay, okay. So all I have to do is push the action button in front of the computer once I have the pictures, right? Well, sure, if you put it that way. And one more thing. The Commandant's already begun his speech, but you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you, okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal files and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven-minute time limit, huh? Remember, Snake, just the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low. We initiated development of... Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear...
Marine proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our race that will accomplish this. At the moment, every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for metal gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own metal gear force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these metal gear derivatives. Ours is not the only military project devoted to metal gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own raid project. But I promise you, they will not succeed. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of raids. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air backgrounds. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the battle... Here. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order, and we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Front. Right. To move on, I have a daughter, and it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generations. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Unlike the Army's Rex, it can cruise deep underwater, move in undetected, and make its landing on any shoreline. Its onboard Joint Tactical Information Distribution System identifies targets with unerring accuracy and takes them out with massive firepower. It is the ultimate weapon, and it is your... Push go. Good. The brain drain of nuclear specialists and the black market trade and weapons trade, plutonium, has been fueling a cottage industry in nuclear weapons since late last century. Add Metal Gear to the mix, and the result is the renewed proliferation you see the world over. We once lived in the shadow of the Doomsday Machine. This Metal Gear Ray can bring other Metal Gears under control and ensure that we never know that fear again. And we, the Marines, will be the guardians of this peace. The Metal Gear Rex developed...
that men on Shadow Moses was supposedly the first preparatory measure taken against the future possibility of reduced nuclear defense capability. NMB technology leaked to other nations would make that contingency likely. But if this theory is correct, it means that there was a calculated intent to cash in on this opportunity by specific interests within the military industrial complex. We are here today to flush out and rid our country of these corrupting forces. That is our mission. You will bear that in mind. This Metal Gear Ray is a prototype designed to be operated by an onboard pilot. In its final form, Ray will be unmanned, driven by tele-existence and an autonomous control system. We have intelligence that there are anti-Metal Gear terrorists that are planning to... Good. Intruder to the left! Intruder in the back! Intruder to the right! Intruder to the left! Should that actually happen, I expect you to be prepared. We cannot and will not give up Ray. Stay on your guard at all times. To move on, the importance of next generation technologies such as C4 ISR and RMA in battle situations has been discussed time and again, but Ray is the first to deploy it so fully. With Ray's completion, the Marine Corps will lead the way for a new age of military tactics. This new model of Metal Gear is codenamed Ray, after the Great Manta Ray. Our ray has a sting that nature never gave the manta. With this latest Metal Gear, we can rule the sea and land as we never have before. The Metal Gear Rex development on Shadow Moses was... So, any codec moments from you, Snake? Okay, first up... You're too close. We need something that shows Metal Gear as a whole. What's next? This is great. The Marines lettering shows up really well. What's next? Oh, I don't think we can use this. What's next? Oh, I don't think we can use this. What's next? Oh, I don't think we can use this.
The last one is... Okay, that's good. The shot from the right is in the bag. We can use the photos of the right and the insignia, but we're still missing one from the front left and the front. Supposedly the first preparatory measure taken against the future possibility of reduced nuclear defense capability. NMD technology leaked to other nations would make that contingency likely. But if this theory is correct, it means that there was a calculated intent to cash in on this opportunity by specific interest with good. We are here today to flush out and rid our country of these corrupting forces. That is our mission. You will bear that in mind. I seem to be repeating myself. Chalk it up to old age. It is an undeniable fact that there is a force at work in our government and within the military, seeking to control national affairs to suit its own interests. Metal Gear Ray bears the burden of confronting this party, thwarting their plans and guiding this nation back to its original path. This exercise is but a first step towards that goal. The future of the country rests with you tonight. George... Good. The official reason given did not, of course, include the development of Metal Gear Rex and next generation nuclear warheads. Okay, I'm receiving the images. Okay, first up. You already took a good one of the side lettering. The last one is... Okay, this works. It's a great front view. Snake, the speech is about to wind up. We'll have to give up on the picture from the left. Forget the photos and get out of there now. We, the Marines, will lead the charge into a new world order with Metal Gear Ray. That is all. Dismiss. Excellent speech, my friend. Who the? Gift of the silver tongue. They say it's the mark of a good officer. And of a liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska. Also called... Revolver Ocelot. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no, I'm taking it back. Nobody move. Understood.
This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. the streets i was raised in znezinsk formerly known as chelyabinsk 70 the nuclear research outpost what are you talking about after the cold war ended my home was bought out by the americans is there a point to this sad story not you would understand land friends dignity all sold to the highest bidder the united states of america even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is russian developed by us what do you intend to do? Russia will rise again. And Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. Yes. Returned to the Patriots. The Lale Nule Low. How's that possible? Arcelor, you have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Kalukovich. Are you still in league with Solidus? No hard feelings, Colonel. Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Since when, Arcelor? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Ah! Metal Gear only has room for one! Lukovic, you and your daughter will die here. Damn you! <laughs> Sergey, looks like you were long overdue for retirement. Traitor, stop! Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life.
It's been a while, brother. Who are you? You know who I am. Liquid? Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? You're drowning in time. I know what it's like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. Ouch! Get out of my mind, Liquid! of physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late 50s when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm. Look at all.
location we discussed. Yes, I have photographic evidence of Snake on the scene. The cipher was most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's news flash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on indefinite hold. Yes, of course, Mr. President. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shack. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark. A symbol of environmental protection. Charlie Team Dolphin and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad dead cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group, and they have the big shell under complete control. Sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the base ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of Shell 1. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant's struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? 
Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the codec button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the codec button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit? Seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. You could probably get in down there if you crawl. If you hide well, you can probably escape when being pursued by the enemy. Whenever you crawl into a narrow space, the camera will automatically switch to intrusion view. Move the left thumbstick up to move forward, down to move back. Push left and right to turn in those directions. Keep an eye on the enemy and proceed undercover at all times. You absolutely cannot afford to be spotted. Unlike in VR training, you can use your gun from intrusion view in the field. Keep that in mind. Raiden, first get to the upper section of the big shell. Take the elevator in the north end of the area. To get to the elevator area, go through the connecting passageway to the north. The passage is behind a watertight hatch. It should look like a door with a circular handle. You're currently using artificial blood primed with nanomachines. What did you do with my own?
Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd, node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. The nanomachines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it.
Eric Ryden. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Ryden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. The Big Shell's layout map should now be available after touching the pause button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves, and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Ryden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see. I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data. But I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. Enemy sighted. Request the It's the enemy. I need that. What's going on? Respond. Answer me. You better not be asleep. Wake up. call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. 
the hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training, after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the President? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. What's up, Jack? Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. We should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something.
Raiden, SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. I'll go check the room. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. Who is that? It's the enemy. I need help. Understood. Sending a backup squad to strut A first floor. Secure the control. Hmm? Over there? Jack, are you okay? Rosemary. Jack, tell me you're okay. I'm all right. It was a close one, though. Oh, good. I didn't think it would be this tough. Hey. It's the helplessness of it, you know? Just watching with no power to help you. It's like having a ringside seat at a boxing match, but much worse because it's someone I love and the stakes are... Rosemary, maybe this was a miscalculation on my part. Selecting her wasn't the wisest choice. No, no. I apologize for the outburst. I'm all right. I will see this through with you. Rose? We fight together, okay? You have nowhere to run. Neither do I. Rosemary, you're not obligated to continue. You know that. I'm all right, sir. Hmm. Raiden, how about you? I'm good. Then the mission goes on. But Rosemary, there's one thing you need to understand. Sir? His name is Raiden. Got it? Yes, sir. I understand. Understood. Sending reinforcements to the roof of Strut A. Exercise extreme caution.
Got one, I see. Don't leave him lying around. Hide the body as soon as possible. When his comrades come back from the roof, you don't want him being found. If they do find him, they'll be on the alert and things can get difficult. When you take a hostel down, hide the body where a patrol is unlikely to come around. You can drag an enemy personnel's body. This is how to do it. First, walk up to the body, and with all weapons deselected, press the weapon button to pick it up. As long as you have the weapon button held down, you can move around with the body in your grasp. Release the weapon button to let go of the body. The enemy, I need help. Ride and watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right, I'm giving it a try. Don't forget the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during a hanging maneuver. And once it runs out, you will fall. Copy that. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the President. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy! Alpha Zero, report. Damn it, cover the president! Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy! Is that... Alpha Zero, respond. All Alpha, respond. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now.
Raiden, watch your back. That's a cipher, a type of UAV. If it spots you, it will alert enemy personnel. Exercise extreme caution. But you can use chaff to set up an interference field. That'll knock its sensors offline for a while. Try to locate some chaff. You can also destroy the engine or the camera. Some of the UAVs may be armed. Be careful. Nothing here. I'm under attack! Stay alert! Understood. Reinforcements are on the way to Strut F. Intensify the level of security.
Do you need to save? Rose, are you okay? Yes, thank you. It really scared me at first, but I think I've gotten used to it. I'll be behind you all the way, so don't worry. I guess women really are strong. <laughs> not quite. It's not women that are strong. It's me. Just as long as I can count on you. Actually, that's not true. It still scares me to death. But I'll be strong. I'll try. For you. Good luck. Nothing here.
were late with your status report. What's going on? Respond. Communications with Strut F have ceased. Carry out an investigation immediately. Unable to find the AWOL soldier. Nothing else to report. The enemy, I mean. Uh. It's the enemy. I need help. Understood. Sending a backup unit to the AP connecting bridge. Cut off the intruder.
today. Or rather, six. Get down! Where is he? Strange smell. You smell like something. Are you? It has to be. Shoot him! What are you waiting for? Hold on. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. My name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking missions 60, weapons 80, advanced... BR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Raiden, what's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the President? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. A 
it's a little too late for that. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak? That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment, too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this, too. Currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president did... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? The BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about dead cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Hey. What's your name? Ryden. Ryden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday.
Jack, is that you? So, looks like you remembered I'm still here after all. Huh? I thought you'd completely forgotten that I existed. Of course not. What's wrong with you? It's just, you haven't saved in a while. That doesn't mean I forgot. Is that so? And didn't you think I'd be worried? But... I was really worried. You're okay, right? Yeah. Good. Is that come put me out of my misery this is impossible nothing will hit her is she the one they call fortune Today is another bad day. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? Colonel, SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, 
Since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too. It's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? Raiden, you're needed on Strut C. What can I do for you, Jack? Jack, when you get home, let's have a homecoming party. Just the two of us. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hmm, I'll make dinner. Uh, well, well, what's wrong? Well, that sounds good, but how about we eat out at that one restaurant instead? You know, the place that we went to recently with the amazing lobster? I really like that place. Well, yeah, I, I guess that's okay, too. Whew. Huh? Uh, nothing. I just love lobster. Yeah, can't wait. Woohoo! Uh, well, then I'll make a reservation. Promise me you'll come back safely. Don't worry. 